Hi, my name is Robbie Phillips. I am a professional climber from Scotland and a climber of 15 years. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about what not to do in a climbing center. <laughs> climbing is an amazing sport. It's about fun, it's about fitness, and it's about friendship. But there are a few things that are worth bearing in mind when you go to the climbing wall. You know, we all hate backseat drivers, so don't be a backseat climber. So a beta sprayer is somebody that tends to give all the information and the beta of how to climb something when somebody doesn't want it. It can be coming up to somebody and saying, oh, hey man, this is actually how you do it. Oi, mate, mate, that's, that's a foothold. That's a foothold, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't put your hand on it, get your foot up. Right, foot up, foot up. Higher. Or it could be just going up and showing off and saying, yeah, this is how you do it. Hey mate, watch this. This is how it's done. Climbing is not for everyone, all right? It's just a bit rude and it's generally unwarranted. If that person doesn't want that advice, it affects their enjoyment, it affects their development, their experience. So we don't want to be a beta sprayer. And next up, a really important one, don't be unsafe. So when you're at the climb wall, it's really important to always be as safe as possible. And some key things to remember with this, when you're on the climbing wall, you don't want to cross roots, boulder problems, lines, keep as far away from other people climbing as possible. When you're off the wall, make sure to be aware of what other people are doing on the wall. Don't go underneath other people who are climbing. If they fall off, that will really hurt if they land on top of you. So just make sure to give enough space and be aware of your surroundings, what people are doing on and off the wall. Be aware of any barriers in the climbing center. There's a lot of work that gets done throughout the day in a climbing center, such as root setting. And if somebody drops a hold from high and you've crossed the barrier and it lands on you, that will really hurt. Also, there could be bolts and screws on the floor beyond these barriers. So you gotta be really careful where you're standing. And also, if somebody's climbing, wait until they're finished and down before you start climbing. And next, don't be untidy or a mucky pup. Just like in your home, it's important to keep tidy. And it's even more important in climbing walls because taking stuff onto the mats could potentially cause a hazard, not just for yourself, but for other climbers in the wall. Key things to remember, water bottles shouldn't be left on the mats. They should ideally be left off the mats, potentially in your, in your bag or somewhere else where it's just not gonna be a hazard if anyone falls off. Filming yourself climbing is a great way to analyze your technique, can help improve your climbing over the long term. However, when you're filming, just make sure that it's not in the way of anybody else's potential line of fall and it's not gonna affect you if you fall off either. Most climbing gyms have a nice wee cafe area, so there's no need to bring food and drink on the mats. You know, crumbs and uh, spills, they just make the mats messy and it's not nice for other people walking around. I think it's best to keep food and drink off the mats. At the climbing wall, don't be a bad communicator. These are social environments, everyone's chatting to each other, it's not a library. If somebody's on the wall and you want to go on after them, it's no problem. You know, there might be a queue of people wanting to try the same route. Just ask, can you go next or can you go after the next person? Maybe you come back later, it's all good. Through communication, you can learn things, maybe even make a new friend. You know, not everyone speaks English, but in the climb wall, everybody speaks climbing. It's the language of the body. Communication is also the key to safety. So if you see someone that's potentially doing something hazardous, maybe take them aside and, and tell them. I think it's better to call in than call out. Don't call them out like, you mate, you're doing that wrong. Instead, go up to them, be friendly and say, oh mate, I actually just saw you doing that. Um, that could potentially be quite hazardous. It's maybe better to try this instead. Keep communication positive. And finally, don't be intimidated. These are tricky places, and when you're new to climbing, it can be really overwhelming. But what's really important to remember is that climbing is a really inclusive sport, and we're all there in it together. If you need help, go and ask a staff member at the climb wall for support. If you see another climber at the wall, maybe open a conversation with them, communicate with them, ask them you know, what they're up to, ask them what they're trying. I hope this video has familiarized you guys with the indoor climbing environment and has given you a few rules of thumb to follow the next time you're at the wall. For more tips and tricks and adventure content, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button.